Hello, my dear students. I am B.S. Pandey. Uh, today we are in lecture number 37. Okay, my dear student. Lecture 37 of chapter 3, Current Electricity. Uh, dear students, today lecture will start with a a question it is the infinite ladder problem infinite ladder problem two or three problem we will uh, do here and then we'll move for the Kirchhoff's law okay uh, remember my dear student uh, I have discussed infinite ladder problem in capacitor also so I'll just trick you uh, little speedily i hope you will be able to understand with that speed this goes to infinity this is the resistance are uh, connected okay and this is going to how much infinity till infinity it is going the same connection the resistor it is r r all the resistors are R. You have to find the equivalent resistance between if the battery is connected between X and Y. You have to find the equivalent resistance between X and Y. Okay. What will be the answer? Okay. As I uh, told you, if any students were absent in that particular uh, class, uh, I'll suggest you to go to that video lecture in capacitor and uh, find out the concept. Then it will be much easier for you. If you'll hide the circuit, Look at here, if you hide the circuit, it looks like the same. Okay, this circuit and this circuit looks like the same. Because it's going to infinity, so it will not, okay, uh, not dependent if you or the, it will not very much change if you will just eradicate one branch. Okay, you can see here the battery. You can apply the battery over here also. It will look like the same. It means this is the same as this one this one and this one this one both are same you have to find the equivalent resistance of this one actually suppose it is r naught okay now the circuit looks like this one because this is entirely r naught r and r this is the x and y now, what will be the equivalent resistance? What is the equivalent resistance of this one? It, this is entirely giving you again R0. And how much it is? So it is R0 and R, that is the R times R0 divided by R plus R0. Okay. And it is in series with this one, that is plus R. And this is equals to how much? So this is equals to R0. Now, by equating the equation you will get a uh, uh, here quadratic equation and you will find the value of r naught that will be the answer okay so this was the example of infinite ladder problem now one homework i'm giving you for this lecture 37 the first homework and then we'll move for the kirchhoff's law which is very important these resistors are going to infinity These resistors are going to infinity is also okay. Remember, students, I'm not giving you the pattern question. Okay, what is the pattern question? Actually, you will find the pattern question here the R to R, R to R, okay, R to R, R to R. So you will hide the branch in such a way that after each interval you will get the same value. Okay. So you have to find this is going to infinity and you have to find the equivalent resistance between this two point x and y okay my dear student now well this is your homework there is simple homework you can solve now the next topic we are going to deal over here it is Kirchhoff's law okay uh, the same law I have discussed while teaching the capacitor I told that 
we have to study this particular topic in electric current actually current electricity chapter kirchhoff's law the two laws there i hope you remember it is kcl kirchhoff's current law and kvl kirchhoff's voltage law this is also called the junction law and this is also called the loop law or mace law okay now kcl that is current law gives us the concept of if there are number of wires are connecting and the current are the resistors are also connected okay suppose i1 i2 i3 i4 and this is the junction o the resistor r1 r2 r3 r4 okay let the potential at this point v1 v2 v3 and v4 and this point o is maintained at potential v okay so according to this law the total current at any junction at any junction total current that is the i net sum of the current must be equals to how much it is zero take taking with the proper sign positive or negative okay if outgoing current you are taking as positive then incoming current which is coming to the junction you will consider as negative okay if you are taking outgoing current as negative then you have to take incoming current as positive you are not compelled to take the sign according to the book if it is positive then always it will be positive no never you can take this one as positive or negative but if you are taking outward as positive then inward will be considered as negative because this is equals to zero so it doesn't matter you are taking this one as positive or this one as positive okay my dear student according to this particular law now come to the law this law gives you the concept the total current at any junction okay must be equals to zero and it is based on the conservation of charge which is very very important in board examination in one marks it was asked on which principle this current law is based so the answer will be this particular law is based on conservation of charge okay it is based on principle of conservation of charge okay remember uh, one or two example we can uh, take using this particular charge law but i'm um, i think current law sorry but i think uh, we should write in detail about this equation we have written this equation in very short okay i'm writing this particular in very detail at this point the current find out the current the one current i1 it is moving suppose it is positive so i1 it is also going outward it is also positive it is coming so inward my will be negative so the i3 and i4 also negative how much it is zero so this is your one equation or you can also write this particular equation in this way i as we know uh, according to ohm's law v is equals to i into r it means i can be written as v by r now find out the resistance and voltage over here so for the first resistor what is the voltage for this one if the current is moving from here to here then now you you don't have to take this positive and negative actually okay just forget it i am writing here according to the potential greater first so here if current is moving from here to here must be potential v will be greater so the v minus v minus v1 over the resistance is r1 plus 
for this conductor if the current is moving from here of course this will be the at potential po high potential and it will be at the lower potential so the v minus v2 by again r2 plus this one am i i'm using positive sign why because we are taking all the currents are moving out or the with the same potential difference with the resistors now for this one if current is moving from here to here it means this is at high potential it means v3 minus v divided by r3 plus this is at high potential v4 minus v by r4 and equals to zero so in two way you can write the current law the first and second okay now i'm rubbing my dear students kindly note down pause the video and note down i'm rubbing this one and we are moving for the next Kitschoff voltage law. Kitschoff's voltage law, loop law, Mace law. Okay, you can say. And then after we will discuss few question. So the KVL. KVL it is based on principle of conservation of energy remember based on the principle of conservation of energy okay my dear students now uh, according to this law the total potential drop in a closed loop in any closed circuit if this one is the circuit it is the battery and the resistors are connected Okay, this is the battery V, the resistance R1, R2, R3, the very simple circuit we are taking here, I. Then according to this law, the total voltage across this network must be equal to zero. That is the net voltage will be how much? Zero. Okay, net voltage will be how much? Zero. Or in another word, you can write the net voltage drop across each device must be equals the net potential of the circuit that is since here only we are using resistance so the voltage will drop in terms of i and r so the i into r the sum of i into r okay here the summation of i into r must be equals the net voltage of the circuit why we are using here the net voltage because here uh, only we have one cell if there will be the number of cell two or three cell then we will connect all the cell and to get the v net we will study how to find the v net in combination of cell otherwise we have to write the v net okay so this is another way i have given you the statement okay also so you can write the statement by just uh, reverse the video uh, rewind the video and write the statement now student how you will apply this particular law in the circuits so i'll discuss uh, with the very simple circuit how you have to uh, apply this two law in the circuit my dear student okay first we will go to the uh, Kitschoff's uh, current law one thing which is very important my dear student as i discuss in uh, questions of capacitor again i'm discussing over here if this is the battery and the resistor is connected this is convention only this is the plus minus battery resistance r current is suppose current is moving in this direction and you are observer yourself okay you are observer and you are moving in this direction for observation you are moving in this direction then you will write the equation you are coming from here okay you are coming from here then you will write the equation here the current was also i r so the i r if you are going in the direction of current then you will write the potential drop over the resistance as positive and the first terminal you will meet you will write the first terminal nature of first terminal of battery in case of resistor you will write positive if you are going to the direction of current you will write positive at the resistance but at the battery or the cell you will write the nature the terminal you meet first so you are going in this direction and you meet first negative terminal so write here the minus okay now the voltage how much 
V and the circuit is let it is finished so this V is equals to I R okay now the another way if you are not going in this direction okay if you are not going in this direction if you are going in this direction the current you are observed by yourself but you are going in this direction okay you have taken the loop in such a way that you have to move in this direction then what you will write then you will write here the you meet first the battery positive terminal so plus v okay here the plus v but you are opposite to the flow of current so for the resistor you will write minus ir equals to zero you can see both are same okay there is no difference so you can write in both the way but you have to remember this one this is your assumption to write the voltage law okay my dear friend now we will solve few question on the basis of this kvl and kcl okay so the first question suppose this is the example Suppose it is maintained at 12 volt, it is maintained at 2 volt, it is suppose the point, it is maintained at 30 volt, it is suppose 10 ohm, suppose it is 20 ohm, it is suppose 30 ohm, the current it is moving here the I1, here the current is moving I2, okay. Now, so this is the point O. You have to find current I1 and I2. Okay, this is the resistors. You have to find current I1 and I2. Of course, you have to use the um, law here, the KCL, Ketchup's current law. And if this is I, we don't know. Then find, the question is find I I1 and I2 okay to find I1 it is very easy this I1 is break into two parts so the I will be I1 plus I2 so you can uh, solve but the major work is to find the I1 and I2 my dear student okay how you will find so uh, from Kirchhoff's current law we know that the total current at junction that is at O it will be I O will be how much it is zero according to K C L Am I right my dear student yes according to K C L the total current at junction O will be zero now we are going to proceed here look at here here the current is moving from three directions from here from here and from here okay my dear student let potential at O is V we don't know so we can write here the V minus 30 remember we don't have direction also although direction is given but suppose this V as at high potential V minus 30 what we have to do actually the net current is zero and we know that the current is V by R okay V by R here the potential V minus 30 by R plus V minus for this resistor 12 by R plus for this resistor V minus 2 by 30 how much it is zero now could you find the value of V my dear student could you find the value of V yes you can find the value of V by solving this equation once you will find the value of V then you will have the current also current over here will be the V minus 30 divided by 10 and this will be the answer of course you can find the current over here also and current over here also so this is the very simple question okay now the next example for the 
KCL I'm giving you since we don't have uh, the very much time so I'm not solving this question remember my dear student now the next question I'm giving you for the uh, uh, balance unbalanced V stone bridge actually we will discuss in very detail about the V stone bridge directly suppose this is not any bridge or the simple circuit this is I'm giving you you have to find the equivalent resistance of this network it is 2 2 2 4 and 2 okay how you will find the equivalent resistance of this network if you will be asked to find the current and a battery is connected then how you will find if a battery is connected but remember to find the equivalent resistance you are not required any cell or battery connected over here but you have to find the equivalent resistance suppose here the 100 volt is connected to find the equivalent resistance if 100 volt is connected then you have to find the uh, current across each arm or the each resistor I can run this one now suppose potential at this point is X and at this point is Y leave this term in. potential at this point is Y okay and at this point is X so from where the current is coming here the current is coming from three section one two three here the current is coming or going whatever from three section again it is one two three so we can write the equation using KCL using KCL first at X what will be here suppose if it is 100 volt what will be the potential over here it is 100 and it is how much zero if it is 100 volt then 100 volt will be here maintained and the zero volt will be maintained over here now what will be uh, the current for this branch current for this branch and current for this branch total current will be how much it is zero so current for this branch will be x minus 100 x minus 100 over 2 plus x minus y divided by again 2 plus x minus 0 divided by 4 equals to how much 0 you can solve the equation so it will be twice x minus 200 plus twice x minus twice y plus x is equals to 0 it is 2x 2x 4x and 5x 5x minus 2y it is equals to how much 200 equation 1 okay now similarly at y if you apply the kcl at y again current is moving from three section so y minus 100 divided by 2 plus y minus x by 2 again plus y minus 0 divided by 2 again equals to how much 0 now solve this equation and all are 2 so the y y and y 3y okay minus x is equals to how much here the 100 it is the equation 2 now the total current of the circuit from this one is suppose i i hope you understand suppose it is i1 and it is i2 then could you write my dear students this i is nothing but the i1 plus i2 yes and this is the total current if you are able to find the total current and you are having the total voltage could you find the total resistance yes so 
the total current will be I1 plus I2. And how you will find the I1 plus I2? I1 will be, look at here, I1 will be x minus 100, x minus 100 are divided by resistance. Very simple. Similarly, I2 will be, this I2 will be y minus 100 divided by the resistance is 2. Remember students, if it is coming positive or negative, don't worry. It only give you the direction of the current. Okay. So in this way, you have calculated the current I2 and I1. And this way, if you calculated the value of X and Y, then you can find the current across each resistor and voltage across each resistor. So this will be the very simple. And this was the example of KCL. Now, Let's study an example of KVL. I hope, student, you will be able to solve this one. I think we should move for the KVL. Before that, I'm giving you an example to solve by yourself as homework of 37 lecture. You will find, you will solve by yourself. Your battery, I'm connecting. Okay. And suppose it is five, five, two, four. And it is two and the 100 volt. You have to find current across each resistor, voltage across each resistor, and equivalent resistance. Okay. Find R equivalent A B current across each and C voltage across each watt resistor. Okay, my dear student. Now the practice over the KVL. This is the circuit. The simple circuit I'm taking so that it can save time. It will save our time. Uh, this one apply a battery and okay, one more resistor. Okay, three, three, three. 2 2 and 24 volt you have to find current across each resistor and voltage across each resistor and total resistance remember student without using kvl that is the case of voltage law you can solve this question directly i have taught you but how you will use the kvl actually i am going to teach you i am going to give you the training to apply the KVL. If this is battery, the current will start moving from here. The current will reach at this point. There's a two branches. Current will break itself. Suppose it is I1 and I minus I1. How much current is going through here? The I1 and the current is I1. And here the current is coming. I minus I1. And then here the current will be how much it is? I. Okay, here the I1 and I minus I1 will be sum up to give you the current I. Now you are having the two branches. Okay, the two branches that is the two loop. Loop 1 and loop 2. It is 1 and it is 2. So in 1 and 2, the two loop, you will apply the KVL and you will find the answer. So applying the KVL, start moving from one point and complete to the same point. If you write A, B, C. D, this would be the easy in loop. I'm giving a name A, B, C, A. A, B, C, A. This is the loop. Start moving from here. You are moving towards with the current direction of current. So the positive will be the potential and V equals to IR. So the I3, I1. 3, I1. Now 
plus 3 i1 again now minus how much 3 i minus i1 i minus i1 you reach to the same point equals to 0 here you will get one equation okay my dear student now for the second loop you start from a c d a remember you can also move from a d c a okay in any way you can move so again in loop a c d a a c d a you start from here 3 you are moving with the direction of current so it is 3 times i minus i1 3 times i minus i1 plus since you are moving with the direction of current so here the 2 times i you meet a cell and the first terminal is negative so minus 24 again a resistor plus 2 times i now you reach to the same point so it will be how much zero you will get the another equation now you can see you are having the two variable and two equation what are the variables here the i1 and i the two variable and two equation could you solve this two equation to find the two variables yes you can solve so by solving you can find out i1 i and as soon as you will be able to find the i and i1 then you can find the voltage across each resistor voltage across this one this one etc etc okay my dear student now the one homework i'm giving you kindly note down i will rub it my dear student okay okay now i'm giving you homework Actually, I'm giving you this question has been asked in uh, board examination. Okay, uh, not the not very tough question. Even this is the two battery problem so it will be explore your concept okay here 6 volt here 2 ohm 2 ohm here 9 volt here it is 3 ohm 1 ohm and this is 3 ohm now the question student uh, find the uh, current in this particular or you you have to find current in entire network okay current in entire network using this diagram okay student so this is all about today's lecture my dear students in next lecture we will start with the cell and potential difference thank you very much students